Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to be starting a new series of tutorials in which we're going to be demonstrating how to use the Empire plugin or insert included in Studio One. So, um, a lot of people ask about Empire, and most people believe Empire it's an amp, and it's not really just an amp. Okay, Empire is a it's a guitar uh gear emulation solution okay because it can not just emulate guitar amps but also pedals a microphone positioning and cabinets so what i have here right now um i have one audio track it's just a clean uh di that i recorded it's a clean di let me just go ahead and press play so you can listen to it so you have an idea of what's going on So, uh, very mellow uh, guitar sound. It's just clean, right? So, basically, I connected my guitar straight into my interface and started recording. There's no effects. There's no distortion, uh, no delay, no, no effects at all, okay? It's just a clean guitar. So, this is the perfect place to use Empire. Empire is designed to shape your guitar tone when you start from a clean DI, okay? So, how do you do that? Well, uh, in order to add Empire, you got two ways. You can uh, go to your browse and then go to effects. And then from the Presonus tab, you're going to find Empire. You can simply click and drag it. And it actually, it's going to open like that. But that's one way to open it. The other way is just going to your mix and then you can add it as a, as another insert down here. Right now you can see it's already added because I added it by dragging it, but you'll see the open slot. You can just click on this little plus sign and look for Empire and then click on it and it'll be added. Now, um, when you add Empire, it's going to open, typically opens like this, okay? And you're like, what's going on? I see the front of what it seems to be a guitar amp. And that's why a lot of people confuse this and think it's an, a guitar amp emulation, but it's actually a full... Um, guitar a gear emulation solution. Why? Because it's not just amps, but also cabinets, microphones, and pedals. And in order to see that, if you go here, you see this rectangles. If you click on the one on the top and the one on the bottom, this op window will open completely. And now you can see there's an amp, there's a cap, there's a head, and there are pedals. So the way this works, um, it's a very simple chain, okay? Your input signal comes through this little knob that says input. That's the, I guess, the first, uh, the input level, right? It's the first signal or gain stage that you have in the plugin. Uh, then you have um, the pedals that are before the amps, which if you go down here, you see the pedals, you see this silver uh, vertical bar here. Everything to the left of that are pedals that are supposed to be connected before the amp. So in this case, there's this green tube screamer uh, before the amp. So then it'll hit the actual amplifier and it'll go through the amplifier. Okay. Um, then you're going to have the pedals that go out of the amp, which are the ones to the right of this vertical silver bar that you see there. So in this case, by default, it'll add a course and a delay. And then it'll hit your cab. And then it'll hit your microphones because you can also emulate the way the mics uh, are set. And the way you do that, you simply click on this little microphone here and you can see the microphones. So, um, very quickly, how do you select each of these? Well, if you want to select your amp, you click where it says amp and you're going to see a list of amplifiers. MCM 800, dual amplifier, VC30, blackface and... STV. So these are all amps that emulate the behavior of other very famous amps that you would find in pro recording studios. If you want to select one of those amps, you simply click on it and boom, now you have that selected. In order to select your cab, you simply go where it says cab and you have all these options there. You click on it, boom, selected. 
Click on this one, boom, select it. Now, from the amp head, you can control things like, for example, in this case, we have this one selected. I think this is a VC30. Um, yes, VC30. You can select where, do you, where you're gonna be plugging in because this amp in real life has different inputs. So depending on when you, where you plug it in, it'll sound different, okay? So you simply click on that jack and then you'll plug it uh, in any of the inputs. You can control things by simply clicking and dragging up and down the knobs. These are rotary knobs. So just like if you had the actual unit, okay? Um, now, as far as the pedals, same thing. Um, you can see that there's a tube screamer there. If you click on it, as if you were stomping on it, it'll turn it on, okay? Click on it again, it'll turn it off, on, off, on, off. Same thing for the others, like delay and this chorus. Also keep in mind you have different slots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you want to add something in slot number two, you simply click on it and you'll see the available options. So now you have two things before your amp, okay? And two things after. If you want to remove something, you can simply right click on it and then click remove and then it's gone. Now, um, I just added some stuff here um, without me thinking about anything. I, you know, we were just demonstrating. So if I press play right now, you can hear the effect. See that? So I'm basically adding an amp, a couple of pedals. You can also play with your microphones, positioning. So that's a quick overview of how to work with the different modules, okay, of Ampire. In the future or in the next videos, we're gonna be uh, going one by one on each of these modules. So we'll be demonstrating the amps, cabinets, effects, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're gonna be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.